Hello, my name is Todd Harrison and I'm a rising junior at Penn State University studying animal science. This summer, I've had the opportunity to work in Dr. Michael Crosley's agricultural entomology lab, studying food waste upcycling using black soldier fly larvae. The increase in food waste and the lack of sustainable management options has been a pressing issue in recent times. For example, these bags are the food waste from a local restaurant over the span of one week and three weeks. If this is just a couple of weeks, imagine how it would look over a couple of months or even a year. The United States alone produces 66 million tons or 132 billion pounds of food waste per year. This leads to 24% of solid waste in landfills being food waste, causing a multitude of side effects. Food waste sitting in landfills can generate harmful greenhouse gases, such as methane and carbon dioxide, which contribute to global warming. To the average family, completely eliminating food waste as a whole may seem rather daunting, which is why we are looking to find ways to upcycle that food waste and turn it into something beneficial. This is where these guys come in. These are black soldier fly larvae. The black soldier fly is a large and widespread species of fly that produce a larvae with an amazing ability to break down food waste. They can consume a wide variety of organic material, ranging from fruits and vegetables to animal remains and grain. What you are left with is a high quality byproduct that can be used as a natural fertilizer, as well as a high protein animal feed. This summer, we are testing the rearing efficiency of black soldier fly larvae on various substrates composed of different combinations of food waste. At our waste upcycling site on South Campus, we set up 30 bins in five rows of six. To start the feeding process, these bins are all filled with spent grains, which is the byproduct of beer brewing. This serves as our control variable, as we know the larvae thrive on this. We then give each row a different kind of kitchen waste, such as produce or meat. Every day, we collect data on the bins, such as the pH and the moisture level, the temperature level, and the weight of a sample of 20 larvae to track growth and health. So far, we have seen that the larvae prefer a mixture of produce and spent grains. You may be thinking to yourself, how does this apply to my everyday life? Well, I have great news because you can actually build these bins at home in your own backyards. These upcycling bins are easy to build, don't take up a lot of space, and most importantly, they give you a way to make a personal contribution to the fight against food waste. Did I also mention that they are relatively odorless compared to traditional composting methods? All the more reason you should add this to your waste disposal repertoire. Come with me to our workshop and I'll show you how to make one. Now to build your bin. First you'll want to grab your two PVC tubes and your 90 degree elbow fittings. Attach each fitting to the end of a PVC tube. You'll then want to grab your two pieces of two inch PVC as well as your unthreaded T-shaped fitting. Attach your pieces of PVC to each end of the T-fitting like so. Once those are done, you can connect these three pieces together with the T-shaped fitting in the middle. You have successfully created an exit ramp for the larvae to use to climb out of the substrate. You'll want to make sure that your T-fitting is facing downward so that gravity can do its part and ensure a seamless exit for the larvae. Once you have successfully built your ramp, you'll want to insert it at about a 35 degree angle into the holes in the front of the bin. Once that is done, you'll want to grab the lid of the bin and insert the threaded T-shaped fitting into the hole that you made in the middle of the lid. You can attach these two together by screwing in the male adapter fitting from the bottom of the lid and making sure that it is secured tightly on the top. Once this step is done, you can put your lid on your bin, give yourself a pat on the back, and start fighting food waste.